welcome back to those of you that have subscribed to my channel before. Welcome for the first time to those of you that have never watched any of these um, videos that I've made in the past. I wanted to offer some thoughts on the experience of the 5th HVAC School Symposium that I just got back from uh, down in Orlando. I'm back in the truck in North Carolina and um, the experience had a wide variety of feelings or brought up a wide variety of feelings. One of the things about the symposium was that the people that attended by and large are those in the HVAC industry, those in the building science world that are interested in educating newcomers as well as educating themselves on better ways to do HVAC or better ways to combine building science and HVAC. The people that uh, sponsor the program all seem to have a passion for what they do and a passion to empower those that do different things within uh, building science or HVAC. I would have to say that the best part of the experience was the opportunity to meet like-minded individuals. I had an opportunity to hang out with the gang at the animal house that uh, is set up for um, housing a pile of people. Um, I got to meet a bunch of people. Chris Stevens from HVACR Videos. Um, I revisited some old friends, uh, Bill Spohn, Joe Madosh, um, Stephen Rogers from TEC. Got a chance to meet uh, Jenry Garcia and John Esquivel. I'm sure I butchered that, but that's the closest I can get on his name. Um, lots of other people that I don't really feel I need to go through and name, uh, but one of the pieces that I took away was um, those that had never met me before that had a chance to um, shake hands and say hello with me at the symposium and the takeaway on that was incredibly humbling there were many people that came up to me and told me their stories about how watching my content starting about 10 years ago had either given them a new perspective on things that they were already doing or encouraged them to aim for better in ways that I was able to um, offer um, a better method. Um, had a chance to sit down with uh, in one mile, keep right to merge onto I four forty toward Wilson. For, um, a team Adam, part of the HVAC overtime crew, and um, also met some new people. People I hadn't uh, realized before. Um, people like uh, Jason Julian of Julian Heat and Air out of Arkansas. Um, but I figured I would include some of the pieces of their um, testimonial videos that I shot with them. 
and I was thinking about going live for this, but I figured it might be better to actually do a bit of a mashup of some of the testimonials. Um, if you haven't had a chance to go to the symposium, I would highly recommend getting um, a virtual ticket for the next one. Um, don't know exactly when it'll be, but it's going to be, I believe, prior to the Orlando AHRI. And um, the virtual ticket will give you access to all of the presentations, um, but an in-person ticket will pay you back in dividends on um, learning new things, meeting new people, um, sharing ideas among your peers and your mentors, or being able to mentor someone that is striving for better in their practice. What, if any, impact did other creators give you in encouragement or uh, inspiration for your content? Okay. And was there anybody specific that actually gotcha. mattered? Okay. Um, when I started my content, I started my content, uh, a lot of people have heard it, as is for my employees. Um, but at the time, I was consuming a lot of content. I was consuming other creators' content. I was consuming Steven's content. Uh, I was watching you um, working on systems. I was intrigued by the tools that you were using. So that kind of drove a spark in me that made me want to start finding and buying some of these tools. Um, I was already buying a lot of these things, but seeing that you bought them at the same time too gave me an encouragement because you were a creator that I enjoyed, right? So I kind of even felt like this connection that we had, even though we didn't even know each other, right? I was consuming your content. So, and that's kind of a weird thing that oftentimes creators, now that I'm a creator myself, it's something that we tend to forget that people do make an emotional connection with us and we didn't solicit that emotional connection. We didn't ask for it, but yet they do. So I, in a way, created an emotional connection because I had trust, because I watched your authentic content. Um, you know. And so when I was consuming your content and then I decided to start making videos that weren't meant for the public at first, it kind of gave me the encouragement to know it wasn't that I felt like I could do it better. It wasn't that I felt like I could do the same as you. It was that you were sharing knowledge. And I have a tagline that I use now, and it became what it was because I watched you share your knowledge and other creators, the same thing at the time, Brian Orr, um, Ralph Wolf, uh, Zach Ciotta, um, I mean, John Israel. I was watching everybody's, we were all watching everybody's content, right? And I'm watching them share things and people are getting knowledge and, I, and that kind of gave me the courage to share my knowledge. You know, so I started making them for my employees, sharing it that way. And then, you know, friends encouraged me to hit the public button. So you were an instrumental part, but I'm not going to like inflate your ego and say that you were everything, right? But I was consuming your content. You were on my TV. You were watched on a regular basis. So that's how you played a part in my content. I'm Jason Julian uh, from Heber Springs, Arkansas, and I own a heating and air company. I've been in the trade a little less than 10 years, and I didn't even know that I was getting into heating and air, but I got a job with a guy, and I wasn't, it became fascinating to me, to be honest. Um, I was fixing things, I was learning something, but the person that was teaching me did not show me everything I was interested in. And so I chose to look for it and search for it. So one day I'm at my house and I turned on YouTube and I started searching for videos to answer my questions. I came across multiple people that had videos and I watched a few of them and I liked what was on there. Stephen Rarden, uh, had tons of content that fit the things that I was searching for. Um, I, there were many others. Zach Ciotta was another one that I watched all the time. 
Um, I, I love the, the beginning of his, the little guitar thing in the, in the front, and he wads up a piece of paper and throws it. I, I loved that. And so he would talk about his day. Stephen would talk about his day and go through what would happen on a service call. And like I said, I, I specifically Googled certain things that I was trying to find out, and I found that there was content on it. So I started watching it regularly. Um, I was searching for more information than I was being given um, by my instructor. And I wanted to learn more, I wanted to learn why. And so when I saw other people going on these service calls and answering these questions, I was intrigued from the, the very first time I, I found this content on, online. It was funny because my wife was absolutely annoyed by me sitting in my room after I got off work watching videos about the things that I was doing in, in, in the day. Um, like I said, when I first got into this trade, I didn't even know where I was going with it. I just needed a job. And a guy gave me a job. He gave me a little bit of income and it blossomed into wanting to know more. And as I did, my interest in this field became, became more. Um, I saw tools that were being used that I didn't even know what their names were. And I was wondering what, what they're for. What is this person measuring? What is this person trying to do here? And why don't I have one of these? Um, one of the things that I thought was really cool about uh, watching some of Steven's videos was he would tell us what the tools were. He told me where to get it and where I could find more information on it. That's where I found out about True Tech Tools. That's where I found out about House Call Pro. I use that in my business every day now. Um, I would have never known anything about this had I not searched for this and people had posted content that had this information in there. Um, I was so intrigued at some of the things that were mentioned. House Call Pro is one of the, the biggest ones because I started, after seeing that he was using this, I started looking into it and my current employer was not willing to even use anything to keep track of the service calls we did, any of the videos, any of the descriptions of the work being done, the dates. He had everything in a um, folder and he had all that information. And I knew I'd been to certain service calls before and I wanted to know what we did before, when we did what we had, had done. Um, I was so interested in it that I ended up paying for it out of my own pocket and recording all my service calls that I was being sent so I knew what had been done. Um, that was my journey into, into HVAC really and it eventually it led to me opening my own business. Um, I worked with this guy for six and a half years and I decided because I'd seen other people do what they were doing that I could do this myself and I started my own company. So yeah, like at, in the beginning, like all I can remember, and it's kind of, it's hard to like think back now, but uh, it was like Dr. Z, you, Ralph, and John Israel. I never really got into Zach too much, but like for the technical stuff, it was always Steve, you know? Um, I just like, the other guys, I, I, I felt like they didn't show nearly the tools. It was always the tools that like, really intrigued me about your videos and um i don't know there was something about how he talked you know what i mean in his video like it was he's like very methodical about how how he spoke and um and yeah the the whole i manifold thing and that like pushed me to look at tools i didn't even know existed back in the day you know, um, it was pretty cool. So, what are you laughing at? Oh, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, no, I just remember like, I don't remember any specific videos. You did a lot of like truck talks where you were just kind of either driving or sitting in your truck talking. Um, but like, I remember a lot of videos where you were, uh, you're like in an attic and you have all these like, tools are flashing all over the place and I'm just I just thought that was like the coolest thing in the world I'm sitting there like holding a manifold and um, you know that's how I worked on stuff I'm like who is this guy 
And where does he get all these freaking awesome tools, you know? Um, but yeah, Dr. Z was awesome, uh, but he was more like entertaining, you know? Hello, my viewers, you know, Hello, like viewers. for technical stuff, it was you. Um, and then there was Ralph and, and John, but you were like the beginning of changing the way I did things. You made me think, it, like think through things a different way, for sure.